Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Know Your Verbs. My name is Alicia, and in this lesson, we're going to talk about the verb stop. Let's go. So the basic definition is to finish doing something, to stop. Example sentences. Stop hitting me. I need to stop laughing so much. Now let's look at the conjugations of this verb. Present, stop, stops. Past, stopped. Past participle, stopped. Progressive, stopping. Now let's talk about some additional meanings of this verb. The first meaning here is to pause during an activity. Examples, let's stop for lunch. They're stopping at the supermarket on their way to the party. So each of these example sentences shows some pause in an activity. The first example sentence, let's stop for lunch, could mean like maybe people are working. Let's stop, meaning let's take a break, eat lunch, and come back to the activity. So let's pause, do this thing, come back later. Let's pause, let's stop for lunch. The second example sentence, they're stopping at the supermarket on their way here, means they, the people here, are coming to some location, coming to a party maybe, and on the way, in the act of coming, they're going to stop at the supermarket. So pause the activity of coming and go to the supermarket to get something and then continue coming to the party or continue coming to the event. So there's some pause. We can use stop to mean pause in some other activity. The next meaning is to block something, to block something. We often use this for like a hole or a leak, or we need to keep something out of something else, like rushing liquid, like water, for example. Examples. We stopped the leaky pipe with special glue. We stopped up the hole with old fabric. So you'll see in the second sentence there, I used the preposition up, to stop up something. When you're using stop to refer to fixing a hole, so meaning um, putting things into a hole to fix a hole, we typically use the preposition up. Stop up a hole, stop up a leak, stop up a crack, I suppose. Mostly for hole, though. So when you want to talk about blocking something else out, we can say to stop something. Like to stop the water as well means you block the water. Uh, but if you're talking about um, like filling a hole, like to stop something from coming in, um, you can use stop up the hole. So it means to block something. So we could say uh, stop the water from coming into the river or like uh, stop the bugs from coming into the house by putting a screen on the door, for example. You're blocking them from coming in. The third meaning for this lesson is to cause not to move, to cause not to move. Examples. Can you stop the car? I feel sick. Stop moving. I'm trying to take your picture. So to cause not to move means to maybe seize the operation. Seize means stop, but seize means to make something come to an end. So like in the first example sentence, stop the car. It means I want the car not to move. I feel sick. So to cause something not to move is to stop that thing. The fourth meaning of this verb for this lesson is to not operate, to not operate. This is especially used for like machines. Examples. Uh-oh, my computer has stopped working. They're stopping work at the factory early today. So this means some operation is not happening. So some, something is not operating. It's not continuing. So in, in the first example, my computer has stopped working. I used the past tense, stopped, stopped. My computer has stopped working. It means like, uh-oh, it's not working. So it was working, now it's not. It stopped. Uh, it is no longer operational. In the second sentence, it's about a factory. Uh, in the second sentence, I'm using the progressive form. They're stopping work at the factory early today. So this sentence means there's a plan at the factory to stop work early today. So we use the progressive form, they're stopping work early, to refer to a determined plan, a plan that's been determined prior to the conversation. They're stopping work today. So that means operations will cease. They're not going to continue. Let's continue on to some variations now. 
The first variation of the verb stop is to stop by. To stop by, it means to visit for a short time. So to stop by the house, to stop by the store, to stop by the supermarket. Other examples: stop by the house sometime and say hello. We're gonna stop by the bar later. It just means to make a short visit. We'll stop by a place, or you can just say we'll stop by later. It means、uh, if the if the place is understood by the listener, you can drop the place. We'll stop by later. It's fine. The next variation is stop at nothing. Stop at nothing. Interesting phrase. This expression means someone is willing to do anything in order to achieve something. Willing to do anything. So we'll stop. We'll we'll cease for no reason. We'll stop at nothing in order to achieve something. Examples: I'll stop at nothing to get a date with that movie star. He'll stop at nothing to get that boat he wants. So, meaning these people will do anything to achieve their goal. They will stop at nothing to achieve their goal. All right. So, those are a few maybe new ways to use the verb stop for you. I hope you got something new out of this lesson. If you have any questions, comments, or if you'd like to try to make a sentence using the verb stop, please feel free to do so in the comments section. Of course, if you liked the video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and check us out at EnglishClass101.com for other good study resources. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Know Your Verbs, and we'll see you again next time. Bye bye. Don't stop. Believe and there we go. We got, got one. one. <laughs> we got one. We have a total of three out of twelve. Woo! Three out of thirteen now. I think we're at. <laughs> <laughs>